Dana Osgood is in for Ryan Brenton tonight. Dana, that section of my closet with the warmer clothes might finally get some activity. Yeah, I know. Week. It's been very, very summery, but I think a lot of people are starting to kind of want a little bit of fall. Yeah. Now, once we get to Sunday, that's actually when astronomical fall starts, okay. but meteorological fall has begun since the beginning of September. Yeah, you and the team have been into fall for a while. Oh, now. yes. I have painted my nails, got like a <laughs> maroon color. The rest of us will, We're will ready. Get on board Sunday. Um, but yeah, so kind of today we got that summery feel, but fall is creeping in. We've got okay. some lower temps on the way, but today I think it was still August outside there today. So these were our high temperatures. A lot of us got into the 80s today. Keep in mind, our average high temperature has dropped to 70. So a lot of us were between 10 and almost 15 degrees above average for this time of year got to 86 in caribou and that actually tied the record for the high temp today. Now it has been quite crisp, so that was a little bit more of a fall feel today. Actually felt a little bit more humid. However, our dew points weren't exceptionally high. A lot of us seeing dew points in the upper 50s to lower 60s, but because it's been so crisp lately, it actually felt a little bit more humid out there this afternoon. Now we started out with a lot of sunshine, but we're already starting to see some of those changes. You can see we're starting to see some of that cloud cover begin to move from south to north, kind of right up to the Bangor area. And that's going to end up bringing us a bit of a split state forecast, especially as we get into kind of the end of this week and even into the beginning of the weekend. And the reason for that is this, this is this is the system here that we're watching. It's been essentially kind of crawling up the east coast here. And as, depending on how close it gets is going to have a big impact on our weather. So essentially we're seeing that we're just going to be right along the edge of this system. Now it has a lot of moisture associated with it and how much rain we see is going to be directly proportionate to how close exactly this system is able to get to the coast. So this is a look at Thursday at 4 p.m. It's kind of right along the edge here. We're still a little bit warmer and then once this system kind of takes over here, it's essentially going to stall out. So it's going to kind of really just hang out here and that's going to bring a lot of cloud cover, especially kind of as we hang out into Friday and into the weekend. So we're going to be watching this system very closely because like I said, depending on how it close it gets to us will really determine how much rainfall we end up getting. Right now, it looks like not that much. See here, Portland only has 0.1, Boston about an inch of rain. However, if you look and see kind of where the colors are here, that indicates a lot more rain. So a lot of heavier rain is offshore. However, it's very close. So it's something we're going to monitor. But right now, I would say overall, we're not going to see a lot of rain from this system. So within the next few hours, we're going to start to see the rest of that cloud cover begin to move in through the rest of the state, moving from north to south. And then tomorrow is how we end up with that split state forecast. We end up with a lot more cloud cover along the immediate coastline and getting into those shower activity kind of much closer here is really just right on the edge. I think overall, though, whether or not you see some shower activity, it's going to be a very gloomy stretch coming up. Also, our high temperatures will only be getting into the upper 60s to lower 70s, which is about average but it's still a lot cooler than we've been lately. So we'll say goodbye to summer, one more day of those higher temps getting into the upper 70s and lower 80s, and then we return to average, though it'll feel a lot colder with our temperatures dropping into the upper 60s to lower 70s for highs. Marine forecast there sees one to three feet. Ocean temp is 60 degrees. So in terms of our seven day forecast is this is where you'll actually see a lot of differences between the inland and coastal. So overall, the inland forecast is still going to be pretty dry overall, though, very cloudy. And then Brian and Amanda for the coastal, that's where we're going to have the best chance of seeing those showers. Again, it's right on the edge, so we're watching it very closely. Overall, not expecting a lot of rain, but it's the start of a gloomy stretch. Yeah. OK, Dana, thank you.